peace light love and serenity welcome back to the youtube channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please check out my new merch the link is going to be in the description box below so we're going to get into this pick a card reading so for pile one we have energy all right so your focus on in the next 24 hours is your energy um, so this could be protecting your energy, grounding your energy. I was picking up a lot of channeled messages about planning, your stability, your finances, maybe um, some situations regarding your family members, um, your friends, or friends that you consider your family members. So I'm seeing a lot of root chakra energy, a lot of solar plexus energy. Um, not that much um, sacral chakra energy. But I feel like there could be some cleansing there for some of you that needs to be done because they're saying that now. But I don't feel like that's going to apply to a lot of you. So now I'm going to move forward and see what you're going to be focusing on in the next 24 hours. All right. So definitely your energy, revitalizing your energy and all of that. Let's see what else we get here. Wow. All right. So we have... Five of water. So yeah, so some of you are grounding your energy in regards to some things that did not go your way, did not um, really go as planned. I'm also kind of seeing um, the energy of maybe some friendships that didn't go, that didn't go uh, according to plan. But I'm also kind of seeing a relationship that you keep working on that is not really giving you um your full chalice right um let's see here wow yeah ace of cups so definitely the energy here within the next 24 hours is letting go of disappointments grounding yourself um accepting why those things did not work out emotionally for you and starting to focus on your own um healing your own self-love your own energy uh, revitalizing yourself, probably grounding yourself emotionally also because I'm seeing a lot of water here, right? And um, the energy is kind of that fire. So that fire and water kind of gives me that aspect of you need to really balance yourself. Um, we have the Knight of Earth here. So the Knight of Earth is also about um, your commitments. Are you over committing? Are you over committing to the point that you're disappointing other people, disappointing yourself? You're you have too many um, high expectations. So really grounding your energy and making a plan. I'm hearing um, to move forward. And then we have the page of fire. So yes. So you're able to be more um, directional in the the way you want to go. Okay, let me see what else we have here. We're going to see what your love affirmation is for the next 24 hours. Next 24 hours. Yep, reconsider your commitment. So um, maybe you need to say no a little bit more. Okay. Maybe you have to say yes to yourself more. Let's see here. It says, have you piled so much on your plate that there's little room for you? Identify what truly matters and graciously decline the rest. There's a universe of meaningful opportunities on the other side. So say no. In fact, every no makes space for the perfect yes. Your freedom is closer than you think. So again, that root chakra energy um, also can be your sense of freedom, your security, um, what you feel when it comes to limitations, right? Um, let me see here. I'm going to pull for your romance for the next 24. Let's see, for the next 24... What does the romance angels 
want to say to you for the next 24. So children, you may be a parent, okay? So you may need to focus on your family. You may need to focus on that childlike energy. So I'm hearing try to do something creative, something that will allow you to think outside of the box. And then we have playfulness. So yeah, that definitely clarifies that you need to be more open. I'm also hearing that you need to be more vigilant to your spirit guides because they're trying to get in contact with you and talk to you. Um, so you may need to actually ground more through meditation. And then the last card for you would be be assertive. So your angels are saying that you need to be more assertive. And this could go right back to reconsidering your commitment. So being more assertive of saying no, being more assertive of choosing yourself, being more assertive of revealing who you truly are and what you really want to attract in your life. Um, for some of you, you could be trying to manifest a child, um, a pregnancy of some sort. And they're saying you have to be be more assertive. You may have to tame your emotions. You may need to cleanse. You may have to do uh, energy cord cutting um, because there's a lot of stuff going on for you, okay? Now we're going to move on to pile two. Okay, pile two. This is your pick a card reading. And I'm going to be diving into what you are going to be going through in the next 24 hours. Okay, with that being said, we're going to see what your card is going to be, your energy, right? What your soul is asking you to focus on right now. And we have two cards for Pile 2. We have Freedom and we have Emerging, I'm sorry, uh, Enthusiasm. And it could be Emerging as well, so that there could be some, some energy of... Uh, some stuff is coming up to the surface, and so it's causing you to feel a little bit more um, relentless. And so you could be very excited to move forward and go forward for a project or start planning for a project and really put yourself out there is what I'm hearing. Others of you may be feeling really trapped. We have Page of Water. So you may need to go a little bit deeper when it comes to how you're feeling about a partnership or about yourself, right? Or about a project, I'm hearing. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, so I'm seeing that you need to dedicate a little bit more time um, and not just more time, but more, you have to be more committed emotionally to your projects or this could be school for some people or trying to get some type of, type of training or wanting to get to some type of training. Um, they're saying you need to be more committed to it. Don't, um, just think that you can obtain like financial freedom and, um, yeah, for some of you, I'm, I'm hearing, don't think that you can obtain financial freedom if you don't put in the work, if you don't um, actually do your research and talk to people that have been doing this for a long time, whether it be for a business or um, opening up an organization or establishment. Now, when it comes to a relationship here, I feel like there's some more, yeah, there, this person may be uh, really defensive because there's some um, healing that needs to take place right and that you need to learn more about this person and what triggers them in order for you to become more vulnerable and actually see the positives of this relationship we have the star which is definitely healing but it's also that dreamlike uh, energy so with freedom and the star that kind of gives me the the feel that you know your spirit guides want you to know that you have the power to manifest whatever you want to manifest it's just about creating a vision board creating a business plan creating you know a step by step and then following those steps not um fully 
you know, overwhelming yourself, but taking it one day at a time, right? But definitely being committed with the Knight of Fire. All right, let me see what else we have here. I want to see what your affirmation for the next 24 hours is going to be. It's going to be the affirmation for the next 24 hours for pile two. Okay, we have notice the blessings. So there may be um, some trinkling blessings coming through. Um, they're telling me to shuffle one more time. And yes, we have listen to you today. So with freedom and enthusiasm, I'm hearing that you need to build some confidence in how unique you are, how unique your ideas are, um, and moving forward. I'm also seeing that there's like this surge of newness, like a new crowd, new energy, new vibrational shift around you. And you have to listen to your body um, because your body is feeling all these... Um, I'm feeling like muscle spasms or just like feeling achy or you're really, really tired. And so right now it's time for you to ground yourself. It's time for you to really appreciate the blessings that are coming to you, whether it be you found like a $5 bill on the floor or a friend um, was able to lend you some money or um, it could be as simple as, you know, someone gave you something even though it was second hand but they gave you something and it was meaningful they're saying be very grateful for the things that are around you for the energies that are around you for the people that leave your side because it's welcoming in new energy i'm seeing some type of conversation um within the next 24 hours that's going to be a very um mental shift type of conversation this will really center yourself um and it's going to also allow you to boost your confidence is what I'm hearing. All right. Let's see what is up here and what the angels want to say to you. And this is a perfect time to ask a question. So if you want to pause the video, pause the video and ask a question. And the angels will give you an answer. All right, we have look for a sign abundance. So I was picking up a lot of money energy, a lot of like business, like organizational, um, maybe even like a small business type of energy. And they're saying you need to look for a sign. And, and this might be the sign. This You clicking on this video and watching pile two is your sign. This is your sign to manifest everything that you want when it comes to abundance. Create that vision board. Um, do those affirmations, do those meditations, um, allow yourself to be an extension of the universe and create just as the universe can. God bless you. And then the bottom of the deck is meditation brings answers. So this definitely needs um, some energy of meditation here for, for y'all. Let's see what else. What does the romance angels want to say for you, pile two, for the next 24 hours? The romance angels for pile two. What's up with romance? Okay, so we have three different scenarios here, and they can kind of merge a little bit, but I kind of feel like for the first scenario, if you are not in a relationship and you're single, this is you trying to manifest and bring in a particular person, um, whether it be your spirit guide, your spirit guides, um, whether it be an actual relationship, whether it be actual funds, right? Um, or this could be an actual person, like an ex that you're trying to manifest to bring back in order to get in a relationship with. The other um, one that I'm seeing is if you're actually in a relationship, I'm seeing um, the relationship is going to be mended. I'm seeing that things are going to heal. Um, I'm seeing that the, the connection is not only going to mend, but it's going to mend better um, or uh, faster if this energy of past lovers or past life contracts are severed. Um, once they are severed, then you'll see that the relationship will end up deepening and ending, uh, end up going to a higher level of commitment. i um, going to see if anything else comes out here. 
Yes. The last card we have here is Trust, right? And again, we have Free Yourself at the bottom of the deck, and, and next to that is Codependency. So we did have Free Yourself in the beginning. Let me see. We had Freedom, right? And then we have Free Yourself. So I kind of feel like there may be some type of energetic cord between you and an ex or between your partner and an ex and that needs to get cut in order for the both of you to have um, a solid foundation of trust. Now... Trying to channel any other messages. I'm also getting um, that some of you, this may be an actual soulmate. This may be a soulmate. And if, if you're in a soulmate relationship, right, um, they are still healing. But it's hard for them to let go. So um, they they might have some trust issues with you and are are really guarded and are not willing to make the effort and trying to give the relationship a chance because... Um, they really need some foundational healing. So this could be root chakra healing, or this could be like healing within their own family, you know, things that they learn throughout their childhood or what they watch their parents do. If they're, um, parents, they probably have, um, they probably had divorced or something like that at an early age or had some problems I'm, I'm hearing. So they have a lot of trust issues. And so it's up to you. Spirit is saying it's up to you whether you want to attract, you know, something better or you want to manifest healing for this relationship in order for it to go to the next level. All right. So that's what I got for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and share. Um, go ahead and subscribe as well and hit that bell notification. I'm going to try to get as many messages out here as possible these next couple of days. So bear with me and leave a comment below and let me know what other kind of messages and readings you would like to see. If you would like to book a reading, that information is in the description box below. I will see you guys later.